This is the Mark II by Zero Breeze. Looks like we got the charger block, some hoses, a drain hose. Some instructions, a remote control. Looks like we got an Allen wrench with two bolts. I bet that's maybe to bolt the battery on. Oh, I bet that's to bolt this plastic piece on. So the foam packaging that comes with packaging your battery will include two holes that you punch out and you could stick this inside your window of your truck and you run the dual hose system. Cut this to fit anywhere you need it to fit. And then we have the battery. Now you can purchase extra batteries if you need it to last longer than what it's, than what you need or what you, this would last you. So we'll have to get this thing uh, charged up. Oh, it's also got um, two USB ports. You can charge your, your phone or other accessories off of this battery itself as well as a uh, USB or a uh, C port. We'll get this thing charged up. With its included battery charger. Plug it in. Looks like you got some blue lights up here that tell you how charged your battery is. One, two, three, four. Looks like five blue lights. Looks like this thing almost came completely charged. It's got one more light that it's blinking to charge it. At only 28 and a half pounds, the Mark II Zero Breeze being ultra portable, the possibilities are endless. Wait, did you say 28 and a half pounds? Yep, that's right. And it's battery powered. Yep. Well, that means I can... No, you can't. Well, then maybe. Absolutely not. Okay, at least I can.
Just get out. And with the average cost of diesel today being $3.95 a gallon, and with your average semi truck using a gallon an hour to idle, that's over $39 a day for a 10 hour reset. That means with the battery option Mark II by Zero Breeze, you could have this paid off in just 38 days. If your battery dies or you're not in a place that needs it, you can hook it straight to the wall, plug in the unit, and it'll run without the battery. Uh, if you don't own the truck, or you don't want to put a bunch of holes in your nice truck, um, this might be an option. Uh, this is kind of the way that I have it set up in here. Obviously very temporary, because we're not keeping this in the truck, because we have our mini split. So... This is what I've kind of come up with. I just have it sitting on the passenger seat here, running off the battery. And again, this thing doesn't need the battery to run. You could technically plug this directly into your inverter of the truck and run it off the batteries of your truck and save you 500 bucks if, if you don't need the portability of a battery. So technically this thing came with two longer hoses that I took it as to stick them in the back but what I've come up with is I stuck a shorter hose the one that would typically go on the front here and I ran that to the window foam and that's the other long one and then I have it piped back here Let's see if I can turn some lights on here I have it piped back here and honestly if it was me and I was going to sleep for the night I would pull this blanket down and now it's only cooling the bed area but a lot of us don't only, only, only just sleep a lot of us like to sit up maybe play a video game or whatever so I would stick your window things in the truck and then I would pull your curtains ours are kind of thin Lita picked these up um, at Goodwill so these technically aren't truck curtains these are just curtains that she found at Goodwill I mean you can see you can you can basically see right through these but it's um, it's something we use to maybe draw the curtains real fast if Lita's maybe trying to get dressed at like a shipper or receiver and we don't want to put our silver things that we have cut and made for the windows in here but if you cut your windows, your window things and you put it in the windows, I think that would greatly help the cooling capacity of this. Otherwise than that, I wouldn't use this to cool off of a cool off a hot truck. I would use this after you've been running your truck AC all day long on the road to keep it cool in the truck. Now naturally at nighttime it's going to be cooler outside than it is obviously during the day so it shouldn't have to work as hard right now we're in south georgia i don't have my phone but if i had to guess i would say it's uh probably close to 90 degrees outside and i think in a case like this if you're sitting in your truck during the day i wouldn't so much look at this as an option to cool your truck off i would look at this as an option to point this hose at you like you would your vents as you're driving down the road because i'm not i'm gonna do some more testing on this i'm just not sure if this is gonna be able to cool the truck off we're gonna go ahead and let it run right now um maybe i'll put my so no let's not put the silver things in but what i'll do is i got my temperature gun somewhere let me find my temperature gun all right, so I got my temperature gun. We're gonna read the uh, air coming out of this tube. Air coming out of this tube is about, well, it just keeps going down. We'll call it 
call it 61 and a half, but the temperature in this truck is about se about 77, 80 degrees. We'll check the roof here. 83 up there, and it's uh, it'll focus here. The light's messing it up somehow. But that's reading 83.85 degrees up here on the driver's side. 81, 82. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this, pull this cover down to seal this area off. Again, let's check the temperature back here. We'll point it right right below the M of the max sign. And that says 79 and a half degrees. So we're gonna pull this cover down. I'm gonna give it a little bit and we'll come back and check on this. Oh, and by the way, uh, we're at five bars of battery. I have been playing around with this thing, so it's not quite at a complete full charge, but we'll call it, we'll call it five bars of battery. I don't have my phone on me, so let me plug my iPad in so we can see what time it is here. Um, and, and we'll just come back and we'll check on it in an hour. We'll see what the temperature is back there in this area. Maybe I should pull these curtains too. Not that they, uh, I've been meaning to get some better curtains, some better insulated curtains, but honestly with the silver things that we put in the window, really isn't needed. Okay, so 329. We'll come back at 4.30 and we'll check on this. We'll check on the battery power and we'll check on the temperature. All right, one hour later, it is now 4.34. Looks like we are on four lights of the battery. And uh, let's see what our temperature is. Try to do this. 72. Right under the M, 72. Eh. It's, uh, it's definitely a little cooler. Uh, I don't think it's cool enough for me to sleep. So we'll see, uh, we'll give it another hour. Now again, I think this would work better had I cooled the truck off first, but I wanted to see what it was like to cool that little area off from, uh, I think I told you guys it was about 90 degrees here. Let me see what it is. It is 86 degrees in Valdosta. So give this thing another hour, 4.30. We'll set our alarm for 5.30. See what happens. All right, two hour update. It is uh, still 85 degrees out. Let's see how it feels in here. Oh, it's still going. We're down to three dots. See how we're doing back here. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Oh, it's definitely cooler back here. As it reads at 73. I don't know, man. It feels nice and cool coming out of this tube. Maybe the thing to do would be to put the tube directly on you as you're sleeping. Let's see what the temperature is coming out of this. I don't know, it doesn't feel too bad. 
Like I could imagine laying in bed. I could sleep if it was blowing on me. Well, let's do a battery test now. So we'll uh, we'll leave this thing running. I'll go ahead and just let it air the whole truck. See what kind of battery life we get out of this thing. Um, I have it on max, so this is fan only. This is super blaster mode. I'm kidding, I forget what they call it. Like, um, it's like all out. Uh, this is air conditioning that you can set the temperature to to turn on and off. This you can set like a timer uh, for it to shut off at a certain time and then that's the light. And right now I have it on max fan. Real quick before I forget, let's see what the temperature is inside this truck. 97, 98 degrees in this truck. So I think 73 is actually pretty good. It's pretty hot in here. All right, it is now 7.30. Came out here to check on this again. We got one light flashing and it's turned itself off. So I guess we're dead. I don't know the exact time it stopped working. Oh, you know what? It might not be dead. I've got water on the floor. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to hook this water drainage tube up. It might have shut off due to the water. It doesn't seem to be draining anything, though. They also offer a buy now, pay later with easy payment options. A free one year warranty with free shipping and a 30 day return if you're not happy. All right, come see with daddy, fat butts. Come see with daddy. Come here, come see with daddy. Come up there. Come on, come on, up, up, up. All right, hold on, you get it afterwards. Hey, you get it, you guys get it afterwards. All right. So you guys know on this channel we love uh, we love animals. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to give this air conditioner away. And what I'd like to do is set up a thing where we can, uh, you guys can maybe send in uh, $5 donations to either like PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. I would do it through YouTube, but YouTube takes 30% of everything and I don't think YouTube deserves it, honestly. So what I'd like to do is now until We'll do it until uh, July 4th. Now until July 4th, every $5 that you donate will be one. Um, I, I got bones for them. Every $5 you donate will be for one entry. We'll do a live drawing uh, probably shortly after July 4th. It'll take me a while to get everything together. And we'll do a live drawing. And I wanna take all of, <laughs> all of the money and donate it to a dog shelter. So let's do that. Let's, uh, every five bucks you guys donate will get you one entry to win that air conditioner. It'll have to be for US only because I won't be able to afford to send this thing overseas. I apologize. I mean, it is what it is. So let's do it for the doggies, huh? Here you go. All right. <laughs> 